So we first talked about balance. When news is balanced, two sides with different attitudes towards an issue are given the same amount of attention. Yes, this is better than talking about only one side, but this may be very inaccurate. The sides might not deserve the same amount of attention. Let's see an example. A residential building in Hong Kong is very old, and the government wants to replace it with a new building. They will give the residents new places to live. Some residents are against this proposal because they do not want to be separated with the neighbors, so they protest outside the government building. Other residents are in favor of this proposal because they also think the building is too old and they want a new home. So what does the journalist report? He doesn't know how many people hold these opinions yet. He could give both sides the same length in the story. Then the story is balanced. It doesn't sound bad. But after a survey, the newspaper found out that there were actually only five people strongly against the proposal, and there were a hundred people who liked the proposal. How should a journalist report it now? If he still gives two sides balanced attention, would that be fair to the a hundred people? Balance does not equal fairness. The hundred people deserve a much bigger voice than the one, which makes the story look more like what it actually is. So let's summarize. Good journalism should be fair to the facts. Fairness can be achieved if the media or the journalist is not sided to one side of the story and are not lazy. Don't be fooled by a false equivalent story. A false equivalent story may look like it's fair, but when you know the accurate information, you know that it's not.